only way off. Despite the seriousness... As he and his family watched the march for jobs, peace, and freedom, Dr. Marvin Dunn remembered what it had been like the first time. I remember listening uh, on a shortwave radio uh, to the speech, and, and uh, it was in the wee hours of the morning, and I followed it uh, from aboard ship at sea. My oldest daughter, who's 19, uh, was, wasn't even born when King uh, had his famous uh, march on Washington. Despite Dr. King's absence, for Dunn, today's march was still significant. And I think it's uh, a way of expressing tremendous dissatisfaction with this particular administration which has totally abandoned uh, issues important to blacks. It would be unfair to say that nothing has changed, but it would also be overly optimistic to say that for the mass of uh, blacks who are un unemployed and uh, what have you, that things have gotten any better since 1963, probably somewhat worse. In Dade County, unemployment among blacks today remains pretty much the same as it was in the 60s. Almost one out of every three blacks here live at or below the poverty level. The level of mortality for blacks remains twice that of whites, with violence still the major cause of death among young blacks. But not all is bleak. 74% more black students are finishing high school now than they were 10 years ago. And a whopping 156% more are completing college. There has been a, a sort of growing awareness in the black community that uh, we're here to stay. The black people are not going to go any place in Dade County and that we've got to make this community a positive, productive place for everybody to live. Nearly half of Dade County's black population wasn't even born when Martin Luther King Jr. spoke about his dream. But for most of those we talked to today, it is still very real. The thing that he had to say to the blacks were very important in helping us to develop our lifestyle now. Uh, Martin Luther King has, has brought the blacks a long way, not only the blacks, but other colors too. Yes, and it's something then and it still does. And I wish everybody could just learn to live by it. I've seen a lot change, a lot of changes, and I feel a part of those changes because of that same speech in that man. I feel that his speech have inspired a lot of black peoples in Miami now.